hello everyone welcome back to another video if this is the first time you're coming across my channel you are highly welcome please join the family by subscribing for my returning subscriber thank you so much for always coming to watch my video the reason why Ghanaians don't like to give nigeria accommodation so Chibuke came to me, I'm a dummy, you can see that. Chibuke said, Ghana boy, Ghana boy, I've been in Ghana for 10 months. I have money in my bag. I'm looking for a room to rent. But nobody wants to rent room for me in Ghana. When they hear I'm Nigeria man. Chibuke, is it true? It's true, bro. I've been sleeping top of this bridge now. I so why do you sleep? Why do you sleep? I've been sleeping top of this bridge. Ten months now. You I sleep on place. this bridge. Yeah. You have money. You don't. You can't rent out in Ghana. Why? I don't know. They say that Ghana from I'm Nigeria. No, I'm I'm Nigeria. They, they don't like some people in Nigeria. Uh, I don't know the reason why. So now, so now, what do you have to say? I don't have nothing. Oh, so you have nothing to say. From the video we just watched right now, is a Nigerian man who came to Ghana for the past eight months, but he was not able to get accommodation. This has been a challenge in Ghana for Nigerians. It's a very difficult thing to get accommodation if you are in Nigeria, in Ghana. I'm going to be listing the reason why Ghanaians don't like to give Nigerians accommodation. So please stay tuned and watch this video to the end so you can understand. The first one is agreement. When you have an agreement with the person, your landlord or the landlady who is giving you the apartment, try to stick with the agreement. When you tell the person that you are living alone and the person finds out that you are living with maybe four or five or even a group of people, it becomes a problem. Ghanaians do not like to cut corner. They don't like things that are not straightforward. Yes, Nigeria think that when they pay money for accommodation, they are free to do anything. They are free to bring a lot of people to the house. They are free to have their space. Yes, you are free to have your space. But at the same time, there's, there's agreements abiding the rules and regulation in the apartment. So try to stick to it. Ghana do not like it. A problem why you say you are living alone tomorrow, you have a lot of people in the house, it becomes challenges. That is one. The second one is that the things some of the Nigerians are doing in Ghana is not nice. Some of the Nigerians do illegal job, illegal business here, and Ghanaians cannot give you accommodation when they know that you are doing something like that. They find it difficult to live with you with that mindset that you are not doing something right and you are doing illegal job. There are decent Nigeria who work hard for their money, who have businesses in Ghana, have their own company here, have things going on for them. But because of the things some of the Nigerians are doing, the job they are doing, they are, they are doing something they are doing, their lifestyle, it becomes a problem to the innocent citizen of Nigeria. When they are looking for accommodation, everybody paints them as the same, that oh, all Nigerians are troublesome, all Nigerians are the same. They don't want to give you the accommodation. The next one is the issue of noise. When I mean noise, is the fact that Nigerians, some of them like to play loud music. Like they love their music, they are making fun, they are making noise. To Nigerians, it's not actually noise. Having conversation, shouting, laughing, and all those things is not noise to Nigerians. But to Ghanaians, is noise. You cannot play loud music in apartments in Ghana, trying to, to disturb the other neighbors who live in the apartment in Ghana. You cannot do that. It's very hard for you to hear Ghanaians playing in loud music in their apartments. Yes, maybe it can happen in their family houses and all those things but in a decent apartment where there are couples there are family members living there there are young children who are going to school you hardly see people playing loud music you hardly even see Ghanaian kids playing outside walking around you don't see them so these things happen when Nigeria came to Ghana they do this thing like it's a big problem to Ghanaians they cannot understand why you will be doing those things but in my country, Nigeria, they can take it. So my Nigerians, when you come to Ghana, please take note of these things I'm saying. If you are in Nigeria living in Ghana, please, if you come across this video, take note so that things can change. That impression 
the world have about us, the Ghanaians have about us, can change. The Nigerians who have come to Ghana have lived a very bad legacy for the innocent Nigeria who are coming to Ghana now. Please, we should try to do the right thing. Ghanaians cannot take those things. The next one is the issue of argument, always fighting in the neighborhood, always bringing problems to people. Today, police come to arrest you tomorrow. People, all those things, Ghanaians don't like it. Tomorrow, you bring this woman to the house. Next, tomorrow, you bring that woman to the house. It becomes a problem. And when you're trying to leave the apartment, maybe you spoil something in the house. They ask you to repair the thing. You say, oh, no, you cannot repair it. You are leaving. All these things, the next person that will be coming to the house, he will find it difficult to stay. Because Ghanaians will feel like if you come to this house and spoil their things, the innocent Nigerians who are coming to rent the house, they will not give the house to them. Because the same thing, the person who left, have done, Ghanaians will feel like the other Nigerians who are coming is going to do the same. So all these things contribute to the reason why Ghanaians refuse to give Nigeria accommodation and is a big challenge. In Ghana, even though you have your money, some of the landlords will not give you accommodation. They will insist that if you are in Nigeria, they will give you. You can beg for nothing tomorrow. Even though you like the place, they will still insist that they are not giving you the house and that is final. You cannot do anything. These are challenges Nigerians pass through. The innocent citizen of Nigeria will come to Ghana and find out these things and it look like see Ghana hates Nigerians. It's not that Ghana hates Nigerians. It's just because of these things I've mentioned. Ghanaians cannot understand why these things will be taking place in their house. So my fellow Nigerians, please, if you come across this video, we should try to do the right thing. Yes, I know that we cannot all be perfect, but at the same time, this time we should know that other people's country is not our country. In our country, we can do all those things, but when you find yourself in somebody else's country, whether it's Ghana or you are in the diaspora or in any country at large, we should try to do the right thing. So moving forward, the impression people have about Nigeria can change so that we can correct those mindsets of the people. So please, my fellow Nigerians, they are still good Nigerian citizens. Like this, my brother, now, imagine this man living outside for eight months. There's nowhere to sleep, nowhere to call home. It's not good. We should try to give them chance, give us chance to able to stay. If you try the person for one month and six months, you see that he have good character, let him stay. But if you cannot handle the character, you can let him go. But that idea of saying no, 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 no to Nigeria is becoming too much to Nigerians. And to the point that some of the Ghanaians will increase their money so that you will pay a lot. If the accommodation is 1,000 city, they are going to give it to Nigeria for 1,005. And some of the Nigerians will pay. But there are some, they don't have that money to pay because if they are working hard to get their money, there's no way they will be paying thousand five for just a single room or chamber at all. It's too much. We should try to consider that, please, these people also work out for their money. And I just want everyone to understand this thing. So please, drop your comments on what you think of this video. I'd love to read your comments. And I will see you back in my next video. I promise to reply to all comments I come across in this video.